welcome back to the channel today i'm going to teach you something super exciting how to build your very first ai agent using langchain and grok even if you are a total beginner don't worry i'll walk you through each and every line of code and explain what an agent is how it works and finally how it's different from just calling llm directly that also you will see by the end of this video and before we jump into the code, let me explain you with an example. So think of an agent as a smart assistant that can use tools. Tools means functions. It can be user defined function or perform actions to answer your questions. For example, let's say a, uh, let's talk about a normal chat GPT. So it can tell you what the weather usually is but an agent can actually call a weather function it can fetch live data and then give you the real answer what you get from ai model like chat gpt is the model is trained on data for a certain period like 2024 and you will get the answer for that period only but when you call an agent you can get you can fetch live data you can get the real time answer so agent are not just chatbots they are reasoning system that can take actions now here in this example you will see you give the agent a goal for example you ask what is the weather in mumbai now the agent will analyze the question it decide whether it needs to call a get weather function that you defined in your script and then it executes that function and gives you the result. So what it does, it has a reasoning system that can take actions. Let's import the libraries that we need. First, I'm going to import OS. Then from Grok, import Grok. And then from getPass, import getPass. We are going to create agent using Langchain. So for that, I will import from Langchain dot agents import create underscore agent. Now I want to tell you that to use this class create agent, you have to install the latest version of Langchain. So you can just uh, go to Google and type PYPI Langchain. You will come on this page. You click on this first link and then just copy this from here. So you have to install this 1.0.2 version. Just copy this and paste it in your command prompt. So you can just open your command prompt like this and then paste it here. That's it. And you will have the latest version. Otherwise, you won't find this function if you have Langchain installed older than version 1.0.2. Okay, now let's import this. OS, this will help us to set environment variable. Grok, this is the client library that will let us use Grok models. A get pass, we use it for securely entering API key without showing it on screen. And create agent, the magic function from Langchain that help us build our agent. Now let's uh, pass or let's store our API key from Grok Cloud. So you can just get your free API key in Google. You can type Grok Cloud and then come on this page and go to your this API keys and you can generate it and get, get your API keys for free. Now let's come back to the code. Here I will define grok underscore API underscore key and then here I will write get pass and inside this I will pass the API keys and press enter. Now I am going to set the environment variable so I don't have to pass this variable grok API key anywhere in the function and for that I will use this OS. From this, I will call the function envir and inside, I'll, I'll create a list here and inside this, I am just going to put this in quotes 
and then I'm going to assign this. That's it. This will set the environment variable for us. Now get pass function will ask you to type a grok API key secretly in the terminal that you have seen. And now let's define a tool, a function the agent can use. So this is what we call it a tool. It's nothing but just a user defined function. I will write here a function get weather. Now this function is a static function. It, it is not going to fetch the live data because I'm not passing any URL here. So this function will take just one parameter which is city underscore name and it will be a string and the output of this parameter will also be a string. One more thing you have to remember is that whenever you are creating this uh, uh, tool you have to also write the tool docs here. If you don't write docs, then you will get error. So I will write here get weather for a given city. And then this function will, what it will return? It will return a print statement. And the print statement is, um, it's always hot in and then the city name here. So it will always be same, it's always hotty and whatever the city name we provide, the city name will be printed. Okay, now let's go to the next step. The next step is to create an agent and I am going to make a variable agent. Then I will call this create agent class. Now inside this we have to pass some parameter. The first parameter is the model name and we are using model from grok what model we are you going to use llama 3.1 dash 8 billion dash instant this is the model name you can use model from open ai or hugging face from anywhere the next parameter is tools and we are having only one tool here which is get weather i can just copy it from here and then paste it here now the next parameter is system prompt so i am just going to write you are a helpful assistant and then we can also print this agent this is nothing but this will print object here or i can even get error if the api keys are not correct but the api key seems to be correct now you see this is the flow nothing but the flow so we pass our model this is the llm we want our agent to use our agent will use now llama 3.0 one eight billion instant model tools tools is nothing but a list of function right now we are having only one function here but you can have many function add subtract or any other function then system prompt defines the agent behavior or personality so we are saying that to this agent we are saying that you are a helpful assistant next step is we have to run agent and I think I have passed incorrect keys so I can get an error but let's see now how to call this or how to run this agent you can call this agent and then from this you will call the function invoke and inside this you have to pass messages in dictionary so I will create a dictionary here and the key is going to be messages messages and then value will be in a list and inside list also we will have a dictionary 
So first is going to be role. We will define the role of user that is us and then content the question that we are going to ask and here I'm going to ask what is the weather in Mumbai and what you can do you can even save the result in a variable let's say response and then you can print response here let's see if I get the response I'm doubtful I have provided invalid API key authentication error yes uh, you see error code invalid invalid API key so I'll just pause this and get the correct API key and pass it again I've got the correct key and I'm just going to pass it again I'll press enter put it here and then I will just rerun from here Okay, now I should not get an error. Bad request error and this can happen. So you can just rerun this again. I will rerun again. Um, let me rerun again. Okay, you see now I got the message or I got the output. You can also get this error don't worry about it just try to rerun that and here let me tell you what is happening now this function invoke this will send a conversation to the agent we are sending one message the user's question this what is the weather in Mumbai now behind the scenes what is what is happening is the LLM will analyze the message it realizes that it needs to call get weather function or get weather tool then it runs that function and then returns the final response now here you will see we have this you will see this tool message here and here is the response that you get it says that it's always hot in Mumbai what we have asked what is the weather in Mumbai it has used this tool get weather and this function what it does it returns it's always hot and the city name and that is what we got here and here if you see here message contain what is the weather in Mumbai now here you will see a message here so you have this argument city name Mumbai name get weather it's a function type is function so the AI says that it needs to call this get weather function and when it calls a get weather function we get this answer it's always hot in Mumbai. Now this response uh, is something we got from our agent and how, how we got this response because the tool was defined. Now let's say if I uh, I'll copy this from here now I'll tell you the difference between agent and LLM now if I put this here and instead of this uh, let me ask the question what is the capital of India what do you think we will get an answer or not and I say that we will not get an answer why because we don't have any function here that will return the capital of any country so let let me print this and let's see if you get this bad request error try again I'll have to try again okay now you see I got the message here what this is the message what is the capital of India human message that is the question that I have asked and AI message what it says it needs to use brave search which is a search engine to get the answer it did not tell us 
what is the capital of India and if you see our previous message or our previous output so here we got this tool message and the message is, message is it's always hot in Mumbai now the agent doesn't have any tool here that can tell us what is the capital of India so we will not get the answer and in this case you will use a normal LLM model and you will get the answer because you know ChatGPT has all the answers about the capital of all the countries in the world so for that let me show you I'll make an object LLM and then I will uh, before that I have to import from langchain underscore grok import chat grok and now I will make an object LLM I will call this chat grok and inside this I will pass the parameter model model is llama 3 3.1.8 billion instant dash instant and now let me ask this same question so instead of agent dot invoke I will write here llm dot llm dot invoke okay and now I am going to pass the same question here I'll just copy it from here and I'll paste it here so I should get the answer because all these LLM models are trained and they have the answer let me print it not found error hmm, what is the error is about okay i yeah i made a mistake here <laughs> 8 billion i don't have to put zero here let me try again now here you will see ai message the capital of india is new delhi so we got the answer here from llm we got the answer but using this agent we did not get the answer and the reason is because we have not defined any tools or we are not even uh, giving any API keys to go and search to this agent that is the reason we did not get the answer and this is the difference between the two the agent and the LLM so today we have learned what an AI agent is how to build one using Langchain plus Grok you can even use OpenAI, Hugging Face, Mistral or any other how to define a simple tool like a weather function and how agent differs from plain LLMs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.